Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Yesterday, the Premier was asked if he would stand up in this House and denounce the extreme views of Faith Goldie, candidate for Mayor of Toronto and neo-Nazi sympathizer, who the Premier posed for photos with over the weekend. The Premier refused two opportunities to condemn Ms. Goldie's views yesterday, so I'll ask again. Will the Premier unequivocally denounce Faith Goldie and apologize for appearing in a photo that is now being used as a de facto endorsement of her campaign by the Premier of our province? Premier. Through you, Mr. Speaker, what, what a shame. I totally denounce, I repeat, denounce, denounce, denounce anyone, anyone who wants to talk hate speech. And do you know what I find ironic? I didn't hear the Leader of the Opposition during the election denounce her members. Yes. But you know something? We denounce it. We have zero tolerance, zero tolerance for any hate speech. We won't put up with it. And I denounce it, I denounce it, I denounce it. I don't know how much clearer I can, I can be about that. But yep. The opposition wants to play politics. They want to change the channel. They want to change the channel about the $15 billion deficit, how they've propped up the NDP, wasted billions of dollars, voted with them 97% of the time. They don't want to be held accountable. But guess what? You aren't walking away scot-free, I'll tell you that. Thank you. Order. Start the clock. Supplementary. This shouldn't be that hard. This is the woman who appeared on a white supremacist podcast and said she saluted the neo-Nazi hosts for showing up in hordes to a rally in Charlottesville, North Carolina. That would be the same Unite the Right rally where a white supremacist drove his car into the crowd, murdering one woman and injuring 19 others. I will ask again, Speaker, will the Order. Premier unequivocally denounce Faith Goldie and apologize for appearing in a photo that is now being used as a de facto endorsement of her campaign by the Premier of this province? Premier. <laughs> order. Uh, opposition benches come to order. Through, through you, Mr. Speaker. Again, again. I, I don't know how much clearer I can be here. Yeah. I denounce every single comment from anyone, including yeah, yeah. your party during yeah, the election, yeah. which was disgusting. Yeah. And I find it pretty pretty rich. They're throwing uh, stones in a glass house, boulders in a glass house, that some of the members are over there. It's actually disgusting comments. I denounce all hate speech. It's zero tolerance. It's, I think it's disgusting any, anyone who wants to talk that way. I know you have three questions. Just keep them coming. <laughs> Final supplementary. We take that as a bad Premier, People are looking to you for leadership. I know things get heated in this place, and we like to score points. But people need to hear from your mouth that you do not endorse Faith Goldie. You need to say her name, Premier, that you do not endorse her and that you denounce her neo-Nazi sympathies. Premier, can you do that? Premier. Well, after uh, saying it five times, Mr. Speaker, they want to play politics. They want to change the channel. They, they want to keep this going. But I'll tell you what's not going to change the channel is a $15 billion deficit. The $15 billion that they squandered, they turned their back as the Liberals were out of control, the worst political corruption I've ever seen in my life, and the NDP stood by them. 
stood by them while they were making backroom yep. deals, yep. stood by them while they were wasting the taxpayers' money without any concern whatsoever. That is terrible. That is disrespectful to the taxpayers, and we won't tolerate that whatsoever. Yep.